trust you'll be at your best for us today. And keeping Amy safe for me on your streets. Amy! Hi, Ben. How are you? Happy. You? <laughs> Not too bad, thanks. So why did you want to meet here? To add some colour to our lives. I'm grateful. I need it now. And? I was born here. I know every brick, every colour, every shade. But I don't live here anymore. So we're both honoured guests of Kentish Town today. Oh, I just wanted the extra buzz of being here with you. Kentish Town seemed appropriate for the occasion. But we only met for the first time on Thursday and you already... Yeah, but what a meeting. At work yesterday, I was hyper, I couldn't focus. I've never been so distracted. That, that, that dress you were wearing on Thursday, I was mesmerised. Your hair gently rocking against these soft white shoulders as you walked towards me. You wouldn't be out of place in a catwalk in Milan. Your green eyes responding to every word I said as you listened. You really listened to me. And laughs. Your, your confession that you own 50 pairs of shoes but only ever wear three. It was the best night. And I learned from it. About you. About me. You still have a lot to learn, Ben. I know. Shame we couldn't make in yesterday, but you were... Well... The next time we meet, we'll be where I was born. The very hospital, the very room, the very spot. <laughs> so, Kentish Town. What if my preference is Hampstead or Chelsea? It's not. <laughs> What's this place? Oh, it's uh, just flats now, but it used to be one of the main sites of the Polytechnic of North London. My parents met as students here. They uh, settled in Kentish Town after they graduated. We lived on Pat's Hall Road nearby, as well as Colourful Kelly Street. Oh, right. Apparently, the Polytechnic was a crazy place in those days. <laughs> right, students once threw all the lecturers and caretakers out the building and occupied for 10 days. Parties till 4 a.m. every night. Students sleeping across desks in the library and on mats in the gym. Apparently, all these windows had bands hanging out on them, protesting about uh, something or other. My uh, parents fell in love amidst the mayhem. I like that. What did they study? My mum studied classics and my dad studied French. I love spending time in France, especially in the summer. Hey, let's go to Paris one weekend. Ah, <laughs> uh, for the day, it's so easy. Have to rush back to Kentish Town, do you? A weekend it is. What's the matter, Amy? We can go to Nice instead if you prefer the South. Monte Carlo. I want you. Men do a lot of wanting in this life. If they did more giving, they might find women a bit more receptive. And after your antics at the end of the party on Thursday, everyone knows it. Why couldn't you have been more discreet? Because I was on cloud nine where everyone blabs. Well, find another cloud. I can't. It's too late. Even if I kept my mouth shut, people would just know from looking at me. <laughs> I guess I've always had my head in the clouds, but it's kind of nice up there. You're sweet. You want me. I know you do. I can tell. I can't go out with you, Ben. Why? We're here together for a reason. I can't go out with you, Ben. Why? Because I'm engaged to someone else. A thousand years ago, Kentish Town was just a small settlement on the River Fleet, which is now one of London's underground rivers. The name Kentish Town possibly derives from this link to water. Ken Ditch meant the bed of a waterway. But the true reason for the name is uncertain. During the reign of King John in the 13th century, it was known as Kentiston. By the mid-15th century, Kentish Town was a bustling hamlet with its own chapel, but it remained a relatively small rural settlement until 1788 when developers moved in and it started to expand. With the arrival of the railway in the 19th century, Kentish Town was perfectly sited as a gateway to the north, and it has never looked back attracting many famous residents such as George Orwell and Karl Marx.